soldiers of shoot. Soldiers of shoot, I'm Hollywood Edwards. And I'm the Electric City Saint. And we are here to just comment really quickly on the news. Pentagon Jr. and Phoenix post-match after they defeated SEU. Handshake agreement with the Young Bucks to join AEW. Nothing is official yet. If you're hearing anything is official, listen, they're not officially signed. There's been no paperwork as far as we know here at Soldiers of Shoot. But there has been a gentleman's handshake agreement in the middle of the ring. And of course, Pentagon being and Phoenix being on all in. We pretty much saw this coming. We expected it. But it's a great move. Saint, what do you think? Good move, bad move? What do you think? That's an excellent move. I think they're they're very good picks, and like I I totally agree. I think as you know they were in they were on all in, so I kind of felt like you know this is the next natural step for them guys that they would eventually sign to be like the roster members of AEW. They're definitely good pickups. Like me personally, though, I I don't really get the appeal of Phoenix as bad as that sounds. But Penta, bro, that guy, we, we said it on one of our previous shows. He is incredible. He's a he's an excellent pickup for AEW. Penta is a stud. Just forget about Penta. He's just a stud, period. Phoenix, to me, watching the first two seasons of Lucha Underground, I really became a Phoenix fan. I'm looking at this Electric City Saint, and I'm thinking to myself, man, we just did a show with General Stames, talked about the AEW roster and who we would like to get that for them to get signed. Pentagon was obviously all on our list. Dude, if you look at their roster, they're really close already. They're really close to having a really good roster. To me, they just need a handful handful more guys and they're going to be right there with WWE with ROH anybody. Can you give us the roster as it stands right now officially? Oh, yeah. Right now, currently, this is online, basically. They have Chris Jericho. Obviously, he's a, a huge star, been in multiple promotions. He's been a champion literally everywhere he's wrestled. Uh, they have Christopher Daniels of SCU, another guy that he's basically won titles in almost every single promotion he's been in. Uh, of course, we have Cody Rhodes. Then we have another uh, member of SCU and Frankie Kazarian. Uh, we have Hangman Adam Page. Excellent talent, bro. That that kid's going to be a real stud sure. in, in a few years. He already is now, honestly. Uh, of course, then we have uh, Joey Janela. He's always doing all kind of crazy stuff. You know, when he's booked, you're going to get an entertaining show no matter what. Because, bro, he's he's always doing really entertaining stuff. Whether, it, you know, it's backstage promo, promos or like even just like, a, like his matches or whatever. Uh, the next person we have listed here, this is in alphabetical order, of course, is uh, Jungle Boy. I don't really know much about this guy. I think he's on the smaller side. He, he looks like he could easily be like a member of the Young Bucks. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> he okay. seriously looks like he's like a third member of the Young Bucks, practically. He's like that same exact build. I don't really know too much about him. Uh, then we have Matt Jackson, of course, one half of the Young Bucks. Then we have MJF, Maxwell, Jacob uh, uh, Friedman, or is, I thought it was Feinstein. I think he's using That's Friedman weird. now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I was I was curious about that because I like I I always thought it was Feinstein, but I guess I guess on in AEW he's going to be known as Friedman. Right. Uh, then we have Nick Jackson, Pac, uh, who used to be uh, Adrian Neville, of course, in WWE. And the third member of SU, Scorpio Sky. And then, like as you said, we just rounded it out today with potentially Phoenix and Penta. And wow. as far as that's basically their whole male roster. And then, of course, uh, as far as their female talent, they have Brandy Rhodes, uh, Britt Baker, and uh, Penelope Ford. And as far as I see, that basically is it besides uh, Billy Gunn. And uh, BJ uh, Whitmer are signed on as producers. I'll tell you what, that's that's not a bad roster to go into a show with. It's really not. And yeah, if they can, not at all. If they can really that's get an excellent s- roster. Yeah, and if they can get some stuff going, you know, TV wise, as far as a TV show goes, there's a lot there that you can play with. 
already. And we're only, Electric City Saint, we're only, what, a month into this. Right, yeah, exactly. Because basically, uh, from what I from what I gather, the it's the te- technically the company didn't start until January first, which I know that isn't technically true. Because I know this has probably been, you know, behind the scenes, this has been like been planned out probably like within the last year or two, maybe even three years that has been in the works but i completely agree though i think right now they already have a pretty damn good roster and i think you know people are kind of complaining about the roster and i think you know the the big analogy is that you know rome was never built in a day Mm -hmm. they don't really need to have like everybody you know all these major big names right off the bat they already have a very solid core roster of guys and, you know, within the next year or so, more contracts will probably be expiring and they'll have more opportunities to, to pick up some other big guys. I mean, I, I kind of feel like they don't really need everybody like right then and there. Like right now, they, like what they have to offer right now is is very good. And, you know, there's there's still easily with between now and their first pay-per-view they could easily pick up a bunch of other people and you know we, we've we've talked about like uh uh kenny omega obviously is you know somebody that's on the radar that it could easily be a an, uh, another pickup for them uh you know i think ryback could possibly be going there jack swagger apparently might be you know in talks with them dude listen and- stop stop listen to what you're saying listen to what you just said the roster that you just read and what did you just say? You just say it again. You just said who? You said three names. Swagger. Who else? Omega? Yeah. Omega and Ryback, bro. Oh, dude, right there. That's that's incredible. That's a great and roster. Then, right. And and apparently now too, uh I didn't know about this until today. I uh, apparently you uh, you told me off air that uh, Brock Lesnar's actually bro, that that's <laughs> right there is insane that to realize that yes and i think uh you know people will downplay how much of a threat wwe uh, they are to wwe bro if they're if they're like have that money that they could sign somebody that big like that that's that's a huge freaking star like bro there's no way they're not a threat Mm -hmm. yeah those three guys if brock would be a part you never know with him but you know he's gonna go to the highest bidder he doesn't care he'll tell you right out we all know who he is but that that that'll give you four. I mean, if if the Dean Ambrose thing is, I mean, who knows? It's up in the air. We've been re- we've been talking about that all week. That gives you five. I mean, if what they're doing right now, they're building that foundation. They are building a strong foundation for that house. And you know what? If Brock Lesnar becomes the shingles on the roof, boom. <laughs> I mean, they're in business. <laughs> they are in business. Quite frankly, too, like, you know, but like as far as older promotions, you know, that when they first kicked off, they, a lot of them didn't even have this big of a roster. Absolutely. Like looking at looking at TNA a few years back when they first formed on paper, you know, they didn't really look like it, they were going to be that spectacular. And we all know how that turned out they produced a lot of amazing talent and a lot of them guys you know or people you're seeing on your tv today in wwe that you know it's like when they first started uh you know a lot of people have, were like who the hell is this guy you know and, and now you know there's a lot of these guys are world champions like aj styles and Samoa joe and even like we we said like uh, christopher daniels and frankie kazarian you know they were big major players in tna back then and and now they're going to be a big major part of aew mm-hmm. and saint there are guys that we're not talking about too i mean there's guys we have not talked about like you mentioned tna there's james storm is out there uh magnus obviously uh nick aldis is currently hold the nwa world champion bully ray there there are still guys out there that they can grab that can make a serious impact for them yeah in multiple ways than one too because i think you know a lot of them guys that do a lot backstage or even like helping the younger guys like learn their craft more because you know bully ray for example, he's been in the business so long, mm-hmm. and he, he is very good at all aspects of it, as far as the ring, in-ring work, promos. He could do it all, 
And I think he could be a good mentor for a lot of them younger guys that, you know, don't have that name value and don't have that exposure yet. Penta Phoenix to AEW. Nothing signed officially. Handshake agreement. Done. They're committed. They're coming to AEW. Keep it locked here for soldiers of shoot. Kenny Omega any minute now. News is going to hit. So keep it locked here. As soon as we hear, we will jump on. We'll let you know. We'll give our opinions. And we want your opinions as well. Phoenix Pentagon, now with AEW, down in the comments. If you like what you heard from us today, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Saint, anything else? Oh, no, but I, like I really, you know, I hope to see a lot of you guys on the battlefield with us next time. Like, you know, like we we've, we just said, yeah, until then, like, keep your eyes and ears open. And, you know, more importantly, keep your guns locked and loaded, brother, because we got a lot coming up. Whether you agree, disagree, you like AEW, you do not like what they're doing, leave it down in the comments. We want to get some banter back and forth with you guys. So that's it for now. For the Electric City Saint, I'm Hollywood Edwards. Soldiers of shoot. Soldiers of shoot.